Hello, my name is Chris Whaley. Welcome to this online section of POL 101, United States Government and Politics. Uh, this course uh, is exactly what it sounds. Of course, it's going to cover the branches of government, talk about political parties, and probably some hot button issues that hopefully will be informative to you, uh, as well as uh, will stimulate some, some good discussion for you in this class. Uh, again, my name is Chris Whaley. The syllabus uh, offers you uh, uh, the contact information for me. I'm happy for you to call, but because of administrative meetings that uh, take me away from my office and sometimes off campus, uh, certainly uh, email is probably the most reliable way for you to reach me, uh, either through the uh, Momentum email system or uh, the official Run State email. Either way is fine. Um, please, of course, if you do need to come and see me in person, please uh, call uh, to make sure I am on campus uh, as there are days uh, that meetings take me away from campus and I don't want anyone certainly to make uh, a trip uh, to see me uh, and, and then me not be here. Let me tell you a little bit about the course and let's start off by doing that uh, and talking about the textbook. As I posted on Momentum, there's been a little mix up in the textbook. For years, um, we have for PLL 101 used uh, the Cummings book, Democracy Under Pressure, and the 10th edition looks like this, and it's available. Uh, I'm not sure if an 11th edition is available or not, uh, but even if you had the 9th edition, that would be fine too. It would simply uh, mean that uh, some of the page numbers that I would refer to in the online lectures might not match up but the contents of the book are basically going to be the same. Other sections of PLL 101 have adopted a different text, and I was unaware of this when I built the course. Uh, now here at the beginning of the course, there's no time to switch and uh, make that change this late in the game. So uh, if you have already purchased a different textbook from the Run State Bookstore for PLL 101, please be aware they will let you uh, exchange that for the Cummings book uh, which they should have uh, in any day. Uh, please know if you don't have the book already or you want to get it from an alternate source, uh, it's very easy to get that book online from any number of booksellers. All you have to do is Google uh, Democracy Under Pressure uh, Cummings and uh, that will give you several sources where you can get both new and used versions of that text. So textbook out of the way, let's talk a little bit about how the course is going to operate. Um, most online courses do not utilize the same amount of videos that we will in this course. And I want to let you know that ahead of time because that may be very different from some of you. And it is a requirement of the course. So uh, please know now that you will have to have access to a computer system uh, that will allow you to view and listen to videos. That's just part of it. And so uh, uh, if you don't have access to that at home, uh, please know you can access a computer that will allow you to do this at uh, Roan State. You'll simply need to provide uh, your own uh, headphones to, to plug into the computer. If, however, once I've described this, this sounds like nothing you want to be a part of, I understand that. Uh, but please know that videos are an integral part of what we're going to do weekly here. We're going to start off uh, with this what I call introductory week. While many of you I know are trying to finish up last minute uh, requirements uh, uh, to get in other classes and get course materials. And I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to two of the things that we will do on a regular weekly basis. And that is to participate in a discussion and also to participate in a quiz. So uh, the first day that class is open and for one week you will have available to you a quiz uh, dealing with uh, uh, how to prevent plagiarism in the things that you write and you submit. I'm going to post some links for some things for you to look at and then we'll ask you to take a, a very brief uh, online quiz. Now this quiz will count uh, as a part of your average quiz grades and so please be aware of that. In addition to the quiz uh, there is also going to be a discussion. This uh, first discussion will be basically for you to introduce yourself uh, to me and to your fellow classmates. Hopefully um, uh, as we move along through the semester you'll have interaction with your classmates. I think it's a good idea for you to let them know who you are, uh, where you're from, what you're majoring in, uh, some things that you might be interested in about government and the political process. So those are for uh, this first introductory week. 
every week after that, we will follow a similar model, but it will be heightened a little bit in its requirements. And let me explain that a little bit. After this initial week, where you're going to do this uh, introductory discussion and the uh, uh, how to prevent uh, plagiarism quiz, every week following, you will want to, first of all, read the corresponding chapter in the text that deals with the topic that we're discussing that week. And we'll cover those chapters in order. Uh, so just start off with one, and the next, re next week read chapter two and three, etc. After you read the chapter in the text, please also go to the content section of this course in Momentum and view the online lecture that corresponds to that topic. Now, if you have trouble uh, downloading or looking at those lectures, and please know those are not on YouTube due to the um, uh, length that YouTube permits you to upload. We uh, have done those in a little bit different way. Uh, some systems immediately will download those and, and will have no problem. Sometimes folks need a little bit of assistance in getting those lecture videos to download. So go ahead and, and click on one of those. Again, they're in the content section. And if the video is not viewable to you, if you can't see it, if you can't hear it, you need to contact the CTAT office at Run State. C-T-A-T, -T, CTAT, the Center for Teaching Arts and Technology. We just call them CTAT. Again, you can dial any Run State number to get the operator. And you want to ask the operator for CTAT. Tell them that you're in my class, that you're having trouble watching the videos in the content section. Uh, they will be able to help you get the free software that you need on your computer for those to run. Again, do that early. Once the semester starts moving, you don't want to fall behind on being able to watch those. So you're going to read the chapter. You're going to watch the lecture. The next thing you're going to do for each uh, of the, the substantive chapters uh, in this uh, uh, course is to take an online quiz. The quizzes are 20 questions. They are not particularly difficult if you have read the material and watched the online lecture. They will be pretty difficult for you to uh, succeed at if you have done only one or the other or certainly neither. So these are quizzes that are not designed to be the hardest in the world, but to help encourage that you are progressing through in your reading and also in watching those online videos. So please, number one, read the chapter. Then you're going to watch the online lecture. Third, you're going to take the quiz. After that, there'll still be a couple of other things that you'll need to do for each chapter. Now remember, we're doing all this to take the place or to try and take the place of the time that we don't have in class to talk about these subjects. So the second uh, or the last two things uh, that I'm about to describe to you are equally as important. Number one, um, and these will both be posted under the discussion section, uh, but under the discussion section for each chapter, number one, there will be a discussion topic that I will post either through YouTube or I might just write it down as a topic and I will give you uh, maybe a minimum number of words and a topic that I want you to post on. I will probably also ask you, in addition to posting to the topic that I'm requiring, I will also ask you to comment on one or more of the postings of your classmates. That tries to help take the place of the classroom interaction that is so helpful for students, but in this class we won't be able to have live and in person. Okay. Uh, so that will be one discussion. Also under the discussion topics, I will post uh, a requirement for you to maybe find an article or do some research related to the area that we're discussing and then post that as well. So let me, let me sort of rehash for you. Uh, the intro uh, week, uh, the first week is going to be a little bit different. I'm only going to do a, a, a little quiz on plagiarism and an introductory discussion after that. Uh, and, and I would start on this as quickly as you can uh, because there are weekly time restrictions for these chapters and once they close I, I simply will not and cannot entertain any request to reopen them. Uh, so don't wait until the last minute. When you see a deadline coming up, 
don't wait until the last minute to try and complete the requirement uh, and because your computer may go down, any number of things may, may happen and uh, if you have waited until the last minute to try and, and, and do those things, uh, I, I will not uh, uh, entertain a request to reopen them. Do these early so in case you do have technical problems, we have time to get uh, you to CTAT or to, to a technician or someone who can, who can help you. So you'll read the chapter in the text, You'll watch the associated classroom lecture uh, under the content section. You'll take a quiz, and there'll be two items for you under the discussion area. And so that's the way we'll progress sort of weekly. In place of exams, there will be two major projects for this class. Uh, I will post one about week three or four into the class, and the other I'll post about midway through the class. These are going to be your uh, writing requirements for the class. For these projects, I will require you to first submit your written projects to the Roan State Learning Center for review before I accept them. This is to ensure that any grammar area area uh, <laughs> spit it out a minute grammar errors or anything of that nature will be taken care of before you submit those to me. It will also assure that your grade is probably going to be higher than if you had not first submitted your project to the Learning Center. So we call those projects. There are two of them, and I will post uh, uh, the details about those as we get into the semester, and those will be located in the Dropbox. Every week, if there are important announcements, I will put those on the main page of the course. Uh, in all likelihood, along with uh, possibly some uh, uh, type of uh, uh, political cartoon that I have found interesting. And so I hope to make this interactive. Uh, it's also going to be a very thorough course. I think this is uh, very important material, and we're going to treat it as such. And so we're going to work hard, but hopefully we're going to enjoy it as we go along. Feel free to contact me with any questions that you have. That's what I'm here for. Uh, so uh, good luck to you. Much success in this semester. And I look forward to uh, hearing from each one of you. Have a good day.